Hey guys, big changes coming to Canada this week. We can all smoke weed legally now, but does that mean you should grow at home? Obviously some of the pros are you'd have free weed in endless supply. You could have some of the best parties ever and you can get in some very creative baking projects, but there are some things to, to think about. Could you still be considered a grow up? In my opinion, in the short term, I think yes. Just because it's legal now, it doesn't mean you still can't be stigmatized as a grow up. Every offer to purchase usually contains a representation and warranty that you've never grown weed in the house. Whether that was for personal consumption or you went Molson Center style, the stigma is the stigma and they tend to stick. And trust me, the last thing you need is your neighbors telling the buyer the day they move in that you used to grow weed in the house. The trouble with grow ups are they do affect the buyer's reason to, uh, reason to purchase. The buyer would be worried about mold growth, they'd be worried about electrical issues, they'd be worried about structural issues. It can make the, the, it harder for a buyer to get a mortgage, and this can all reduce the marketability of your house. Reducing the marketability of your house can reduce its value. Don't get me wrong, I think we are making progress with these changes, but I think there sh should be some caution and thought for anyone anxious to grow weed at home. I think the best course of action is to wait and see. Don't be the first. Let the courts, the authorities, and the legislation work itself out before taking any risk, whether it's big or small, with your most valuable asset. I hope this was helpful, and if you have any questions, feel free to call, text, or use the link below. I'd be happy to answer. I hope you have a great day, and I hope to speak with you soon.